At the arches of Emerson College, a homeless man stood panhandling. After about a year, a GoFundMe was started by some students for this homeless man, who they only referred to as Smiley because he wants to do whatever he can to spread kindness. The plan? Raise enough money to pay for one month's rent for Smiley. Despite the economic naivete involved in thinking that Smiley could get a job and earn enough money to pay his second month's rent after being unemployed for years with an admitted but mysterious criminal past, the Emerson College community raised $3,000 for Smiley almost overnight. The victory lap was going great until a local news reporter found out Smiley's real name, Robert Dresser. Slack your robe, hangman, slack it for a while. I think I see my father coming, riding many a mile. Father, have you brought me home, or have you paid my fee, or have you come to see me hanging from the gallows tree? I have not brought you hope, I have not paid your fee, yes, I have come to see you hanging from the gallows tree. With his past exposed, all the GoFundMe money was returned, and the Emerson community went into mourning for the students who began the campaign's feelings. Don't somebody please help me with my misery. With the rhetoric before and after the campaign being about anyone but the man they were doing it for, I wanted to talk to Robert to hear from the smile himself. But after asking around at the local homeless shelter, I found the man who I once saw every day had disappeared. With his non-homeless life taking place in a pre-internet world, there's very little information about Robert available. On the Massachusetts Sex Offender Registry Board public website, the only official source I could find that is even aware of Robert's existence, he's listed as homeless and a level 3 sex offender. There's also four photos of him, but not much else. I've searched for Robert Dresser's name so many times throughout the internet that my computer is starting to think his name is my alias. So with all my good ideas exhausted, I decided to go to the police. Hi, um... My name is Patrick McGarry. Um, I'm an Emerson College student, uh, and I'm making a documentary about an incident that happened last year between my campus and a level three sex offender named um, Robert Dresser. Sorry, you have to contact headquarters informational service. Hi, okay? Hi, my name is Patrick McGarry. Um, I'm an Emerson College student, and I'm making a documentary. You know, I think. Um... This, this probably isn't the right unit for you to be talking to. Front desk. Uh, basically, I'm making a documentary. I'm an Emerson College student. I'm I can't really hear you too well. You're talking fast, and it's, I'm straining my ears just to hear you. Sorry, my bad. Well, Robin here claims to be living at a shelter or 1515 Club Ave. Is that is that a shelter? Is that um? Robert finally feeling pinned down. The reality of meeting a man of his crimes began to set in. Hi. 
Um, I was wondering um, if I would be able to talk. I'm looking to interview someone who is staying here, I believe. You're interviewing someone? Uh, I'm looking to interview them, yeah. I'm making a documentary. Oh, just a minute. Okay. Thank you. Uh, there's a gentleman here. Would you just tell me, um, does he stay here? Do you know I he can't tell here? you that. That's okay. confidential. Do people live here, though? That, um, like, they don't yeah. live yeah. here. It's still a shelter. It's okay. a shelter. Um, they come and go anytime. We don't have a Pacific time. Okay. So, so they come and go as they please. Hey, um, hold on one moment. Um, I'm going to get you on the phone with um, the doctor. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't really confirm anything on the any particular person is here because of privacy issues. So I can't, we, we're gonna have to find a different way to get in touch with them. After a call with the director of the Institute, it became clear that the shelter had no intention of ever letting me back in. So this is what it's come down to. Me, Smiley, and Bright. I've been walking the streets of Brighton for days looking for Robert. However, he still remains lost. And honestly, after looking so deep into the world of Smiley, I feel like it would be best for everyone if Robert stayed lost. I think that's the same way that the shelter feels about not only Robert, but all of their individuals. Judging by the way that administrators only answer the phone by saying 1515, this shelter is meant to be an unidentifiable place for the lost. People who, if left out in society, will be dehumanized because of their absence of wealth. First, reduced to a puppy while being a pedophile. Then, chased off like the Frankenstein's monster that, quite frankly, he is. A school where 64% of students come from the top 20%, and 8.3% of students come from the 1%. One that fundraised $3,000 on the turn of a dime chooses to be blinded by their tears so their eyes can't hope to see. But maybe one day at least I'll see me and just concentrate on giving, giving, giving. stand a chance don't know nothing about romance everything is plastic